Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervideo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. And today, we are going to talk about one of the most important things, and I can't even stress it. Like This is like one of the most important things that you could do just off the break off the jump immediately starting out or if you've been doing it for a little bit but you know you probably figured it out by now but setting your mic levels right is is definitely the way to go and i will show you the absolute number one thing to avoid so before we dive into that i just want to say thank you all so much for all your love and support it's it's amazing the creative community you guys you guys are the best and thank you so much uh, for all the amazing feedback on the EQ course, uh, I did spend a long time putting that together. And I, and it's great to hear how it's like literally changing people's game, like changing their audio game. And that's exactly, you know, one of the reasons why I put this thing together. One of my goals here is to give you all so much that you do not need me anymore. Because if you don't need me anymore, then you've probably achieved freedom. And that's that's amazing. That's what I want for all of you. I've been able to do it. And I know you guys can too, so um, I want freedom for you. But there's certain things that we have to have that are going to make us a cut above. And that will, that will bring in additional success. And being able to create your own EQs is, is definitely, definitely one of those tools. It is the golden goose in your audio processing chain. No question. It's the thing that will separate you for real. Um, so it, it is now available. The wait's finally over. Okay. Um, and I'm turning my mic down a little bit. The wait is finally over. Uh, I'm basically giving the thing away, uh, until the end of October. Uh, I'm sorry, the end of August, it's going for 99 bucks. I, I'm literally giving it away after that. It's 175 and that is a straight up steal. That's cheap. I've taken thousands of dollars of schooling and years and years of experience and put that in to five hours and i've made it so easy for y'all so if you're interested feel free to reach out i'll send you a paypal payment request and once you pay i'll send you the download link you'll have it forever um and it will definitely change your audio game forever but i'll have a video coming out about that next week and exactly why i made it and why it's such a game changer but feel free to check out last week's video the side by side is crazy i'm going to tell you right now about these mic levels Stop rambling. Um, here we go. So here we have a recording, okay? And look at these sound waves. They look great. They look great. There's a good amount of juice. I'm coming in uh, nice and clear. And we have these nice, beautiful kind of peaks here. Peaks, rolls, ridges, valleys. That's exactly what we want to see. So this looks like a really great, healthy sound wave coming in. And a great thing to do, just to kind of give yourself a measurement, is if on average, you know, your tops are coming in roughly about a quarter of the way up. So in between this 0.5 marker, this halfway marker, so in between that and the flat line here at zero, that's a really good spot to be coming in. Now, you know, if the peaks of your, um, of your raw sound wave just coming in, are touching the halfway mark here, that's okay. But we definitely don't want to be above that. And if we're too quiet, that's okay. I mean, that's going to be the lesser of the evils here. And I'll show you exactly why. So I'm going to turn my mic down. So I've turned my mic down. Hopefully you can still hear me. But look at these tiny puny sound waves here. Uh, it's certainly not ideal. It's definitely not what we want. But you know, it's doable. We could work with that. We could work with that. You know, really what we want to do to, to fix this is we want to slowly turn the gain knob up on our interface until our peaks start looking, our sound waves coming in, start looking a bit more healthy and have a bit more juice to them, if you will. So, I mean, even this is a much, much better look right here. But this, you know, it's, it's the lesser of the evils. I will show you the number one thing that you do not want to do at all. Um, and that is going to be having your microphone too hot. So if you are using a USB mic, you may actually have to adjust this microphone slider right here within Audacity. But if you're using a mic and an interface, then you want to crank the volume in Audacity all the way up, 
all the way up because that's going to be the cleanest gain that you could get. Um, so let's go into being too loud and I'll show you exactly what to look for so that you know, um, that you know for a fact you're definitely going to want to turn that gain knob down, whether it be on your interface or within Audacity itself. So let's go ahead and create this scenario. So I'm going to turn my mic levels up right now. Oops. Okay, so I'm probably coming in super loud, but that's okay. For the example. Okay. So now I've got the mic like pretty cranked up and you know, you know, I'm not sounding terrible right now, but the moment I get excited and just a little additional volume starts coming out of my mouth, I start to sound like trash. And you're starting to see some of these flat tops here. Now that is the number one indicator that you're going to want to turn that bad boy down immediately. So look at that flat top. Look at all these flat tops. That is not what we want to see. That flat top, that's not going to sound good. This flat top, that's not going to sound good. And if you're even more flat, that's no dice. So the moment you see flat tops in your sound wave, you're definitely going to want to slowly turn that thing down until your, your levels look more similar to, to this. I mean, this is really healthy. And what's great about this is that a great way to test it is if you can get a little bit loud and not really have any of those flat tops, and you could speak a little bit more quietly and the sound waves still look good and they just speak a little bit more loud and you still don't see any flat tops. Well, then that's a good indicator that you are in a nice healthy range right there. But the moment, the moment that you start to see some of these flat tops and you get a little bit loud, see, look at that. The moment that I got excited or spoke just a little bit more loud, we started having flat tops. And what that is, is digital distortion. It sounds like garbage and it's really, there's not a lot you could do about that. There's not a lot you could do about that. The only thing that's really going to fix that issue is go ahead and turn that gain knob down until your sound waves look a bit more like, like this right up here. That's exactly what you're looking for. That's a really, really nice range coming in. Now, if you're too quiet, that's okay. And I'll show you exactly why. Um, so look, I'll just go ahead and I'll slap a compressor or something on that, um, or I'll just amplify it. So we can always make louder what is too quiet, but the moment that it's got that flat top, it's game over. It's game over. It's, it's going to sound bad until you turn that gain knob down and re record that. So you see a flat top, turn it down ASAP. If your waves are too small, you could probably give yourself some more juice, but it's the lesser of the evils. Look, I'll just amplify this. So, boom, I'll just get rid of this right here in the beginning and we'll pull it over. Look at this. There's no flat tops here. So what's going to sound worse? And I'll just cut some of this out. And I'm going to de-amplify this by a couple so I don't blow you guys away um, in the video itself. So I'll just kind of turn that down, turn that bad boy down, three and a half, something like that. Um, so what sounds worse this when our mic is way too hot you know you know i'm not sounding terrible right now but the moment i get excited and just a little additional volume starts coming out i mean listen to this see this flat top volume volume straight up distorted total digital distortion right there not much we could do but if it was too quiet and we could just raise the sound levels and then we're good. I mean, listen to this. So I've turned my mic down. Hopefully you can still hear me. But look at these tiny puny sound waves here. Uh, it's certainly not ideal. It's definitely not what we want. But so this still sounds clean. Definitely the lesser of the two evils. No question about it. This stuff, there's not a lot we could do about some of this stuff. Um, let me find an even better example right here. Now that is the number one indicator that you're going to want to turn that bad boy down. Even. I mean, it's just, you could, it sounds robotic, you know? Uh, so that's no good. The moment you see these flat tops, that's the moment, you know, that you're going to want to turn that mic volume down. And I will actually just create a new scenario kind of showing you, you know, just what you would do, you know? Um, so here's another recording. I'm going to make it way too loud on purpose. 
Look at all those horrible flat tops. Now, this is extreme, but if you're seeing any of your flat tops, then what you're going to want to do is actually you know, have your hand on the gain knob or be watching as you're turning the volume down until you're no longer seeing any flat tops, you're still coming in nice and healthy, and you can get a little bit more loud and still not see any flat tops. So when I got a little bit more loud right now, I'm still not seeing any flat tops. So I could speak quietly, I'd still be coming in clearly, you're still coming in nice and healthy, and you can get a little bit more loud and still not see any, see, this is totally okay. So now I know, okay, if I have a read that has a dynamic range to it and I, you know, the mood changes, I get a little bit more loud, then I'm not going to be clipping because the moment that you're clipping, like is the moment that your, your recording is done. It's, it's game over. Um, the only thing that's going to fix that is you turning that mic level down and re-recording it. So just a really nice indicator right here. You see these flat tops, it's no dice. If you're too quiet, we could work with that. It's the lesser of two evils. You could probably give yourself a little bit more juice, but hey, um, at least you don't have digital distortion. I mean, look at that. Way too loud on purpose. So bad. Look at all this horrible flat. So bad. <laughs> okay, so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you so much. If you're interested in the course, feel free to reach out. I will have a video coming out about why it's such a game changer and how it will definitely set you apart uh, from everyone else. So if you're interested, feel free to reach out. $99. It's a straight up steal. I'm giving it away. Um, that's until the end of August. After that, it's 175 and that's still ridiculously cheap, ridiculously cheap. So anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.